Well, I'm Julie Wigan, and my husband, Wes, Bridger is our two and a half year old son. So we went in for our routine 20 week ultrasound. And when we were there, the OB called us later that afternoon and told us that they had noticed something was a little off with Bridger's heart. Um, so they sent us on to Sanford Children's Hospital in Sioux Falls and they did a fetal echo and then we received his diagnosis of hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome is a condition where the left side of the heart is underdeveloped. So all the structures on the left side are small. So small that they really can't function and do the work that they were meant to do. Neither of us have anything in our family history. Um, like no heart defects, no, no any other birth defects, no developmental issues really were both very healthy uh, so we were completely caught off guard when we got the news. I do believe his first surgery was within a couple days of him being born and it's always being a father of, of three of my own I can barely imagine what uh, Wes and Julie were going through. It was it was difficult not knowing what the outcomes were going to be. Uh, the surgeons uh, conveyed that that there is a good chance that everything will be just fine, but there also is a chance that uh, everything won't be fine. When you're born with a small left side of the heart, that means you only have one pumping chamber that has to do all the work. So through a series of three separate surgeries, you work at redirecting the blood flow, a half of the blood flow away from the heart and directly to the lungs. They let us hold them that morning before they took them back. and. You just, all you can do is hold them and kiss them and pray that, you know, that they're going to bring them back to you. You're worried that you're sending them off and you aren't going to see them again. They're a lot stronger than you would think they would be. These little babies, when you see them come back from surgeries with all the wires and tubes, it's harder on the parents. Even though Bridger has half a heart, he, you wouldn't even notice. He has the biggest heart and the sweetest kid that you'll ever meet. And if you didn't know his background, you wouldn't be able to pick him out from any other child. During that time, Wes and I had to travel back and forth for work. They had us live on the east side of the state with our parents for a while because it was at lower elevation and Bridger could tolerate it better and his oxygen levels would be better. So we took turns um, commuting across the state so that we could both have a presence at our job. The surgeries are more successful today than they were 20 to 30 years ago. Um, because of surgical improvements in surgical technique and protection of the heart. Being part of the heart program within regional health, we're running anywhere from 40 to 60 different research trials, and a lot of them are supported by the American Heart Association. And it is just a great partner to different cardiology groups across the nation to help find and cure and treat uh, these different heart syndromes. There are a lot of severe complications that can happen because of Bridger's anatomy, and they are starting to figure out ways to help treat those. Uh, people always ask, you know, is he going to need a new heart? And I always tell them, well, hopefully someday he'll be able to grow his own in a petri dish. So we're always a little bit nervous going back for follow-ups and checkups, and um, each time we're reassured by Dr. Stamato that Bridger's doing great. His oxygen levels are staying right up where we want them to be and there doesn't seem to be any complications. We, okay, we do have a second child. She's four months old. Obviously, when we were pregnant with her, we were very concerned about what, what her heart health would be like. Uh, we did a couple of fetal echoes and they confirmed that she's 100% healthy. And then after she was born, they checked her third time's a charm and they said she's 100% heart healthy. The highly trained professionals that are able to do this is very select and to, to do pediatric heart surgery is even more select and to have the equipment in the facility to support that procedure is it is priceless I mean how much do you put a price tag on not having Bridger here I think you know I'd pay a lot to have him here. Uh, without the American Heart Association there wouldn't have been the research that's been completed over the past 30 years that made it so Bridger could survive. 30 years ago, his diagnosis was a death sentence. And now he's a, you know, your typical two and a half year old that's 
always laughing and playing and yeah we have complications ahead of us and hopefully research will continue to help give them a good quality of life.